Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. One team's loss is another team's gain. And in this late in the transfer portal season, it's almost July. Any player that you could possibly add to your team is going to benefit you big time for next season in college basketball. And the Kentucky Wildcats took advantage of the situation going on in West Virginia by adding Trey Mitchell, a forward from the Mountaineers, to their roster. I'm going to go over how important Trey Mitchell will be for the Kentucky Wildcats next season and whether I think the Wildcats can compete possibly for an SEC title. Now looking at the West Virginia Mountaineers, it is a tough story with them. You've got Bob Huggins no longer the head coach of the Mountaineers. They've got an interim head coach and they hired the interim coach as quickly as they could to possibly prevent what has just happened here. Players leaving their program and maybe some of their other players will stay on their team. Who knows? But Trey Mitchell has decided he is going away from Country Roads to Big Blue Nation. And all I know for the Kentucky Wildcats is this is a big addition. I know that some Kentucky fans will say he's not the best player in the world. He only averaged 11.7 points per game this past season. Five and a half boards and two assists. And he's got some holes in his game. But it doesn't matter. He's a veteran player. And I've said it in countless videos when talking about the Kentucky Wildcats. What they need for this next season in college basketball is experience. They've got a talent talented freshman class coming in full of five-star players. We've gone over them in the past. Robert Dillingham, DJ Wagner, Aaron Bradshaw. If he's healthy, he will be really talented as well and a fantastic addition for the Wildcats and Justin Edwards. They've got great players up and down their roster through the freshman class. Reed Shepard and a couple of other additions and Jordan Burks and they also added Joey Hart recently as well. But none of those guys are going to be polished and extremely ready for college basketball. Maybe some of those top players like Justin Edwards Aaron Bradshaw, DJ Wagner, they'll be able to acclimate to the college game. But even if they did somewhat acclimate to the college game, having guys like Antonio Reeves, who just returned to the Kentucky Wildcats, that was announced last week. That was a big re-addition for Kentucky. It was rumored he was going to go to the transfer portal, but he's not. He's staying with Big Blue Nation. And they just added now Trey Mitchell from West Virginia through the transfer portal. That's big. Even though, again, Trey Mitchell's not the best transfer in this portal offseason. He's the best player left. There are still guys in the portal. It is insane that we're almost in July and there are still transfer portal players, but that is the new day and age in college basketball. Players are leaving whenever they feel like it, even this late in the offseason if something happens, which with Bob Huggins not being the West Virginia head coach anymore, that makes a lot of sense with Trey Mitchell leaving. It's very tough with West Virginia. We'll have to continue to see with that situation how West Virginia goes. They were looking like a top 25 team in college basketball for next season, but if they lose a couple more players as well, if they decide to leave through the portal like Trey Mitchell did, West Virginia could really slide down, but the Kentucky Wildcats, they were looking like a fringe top 25 team with the freshmen that they had coming in this class, but now they're trending in the right direction, adding players like Trey Mitchell, their first transfer portal addition this offseason, and Antonio Reese coming back as well, and I don't know if I'm ready to say that Kentucky is the favorite to win the SEC next year. Arkansas still has a loaded roster for next year. Alabama's looking pretty solid, but they've had some bad news lately with Javon Quinterly announcing that he's transferring from Alabama. So he's another player that's still available in the transfer portal this late. You've also got maybe Tennessee as well, but Kentucky, they're in the thick of that race to potentially win the SEC now. Before the Trey Mitchell edition, I was kind of a little bit on the outside with Kentucky. I thought they were in Tier 2, but I think now Kentucky can be clearly in Tier 1 to potentially win the SEC for next season in college basketball. And John Calipari, you can say what you want about him. There's a lot of flaws. You could potentially say in his coaching philosophy, maybe in the way that he approaches the game of basketball in this day and age of only going with freshmen when all these other teams are going with experienced players. But John Calipari, the one thing that he can do is he can bring players in to Big Blue Nation. The Kentucky Wildcats are never devoid of talent. And this year, they had a lot of freshman talent, but they did not have a lot of experienced talent. And Antonio Reeves and Trey Mitchell now will definitely help in that department. And Trey Mitchell, he is is a solid basketball player. 6'9", 225 pounds, 12.6 boards, and he's a very experienced player that's played a lot of basketball for West Virginia, so he has experience at the Power 6 level, and I think he'll be able to translate that success over to Kentucky. Will he average 12 and 6? I don't know with the rest of the guys on the roster. He'll have to probably fight for minutes with guys like Justin Edwards, Aaron Bradshaw, and some of the other front court players, maybe even Ugano Oyensu as well. He's a guy returning for Kentucky basketball. Trey Mitchell will have to 
to fight for minutes, but he could start at the four depending on what John Calipari wants to do. And he is a guy that shoots 36% from the three-point line, 47% from the field, and 79% from the free throw line. Those are pretty solid shooting splits. And being surrounded by much more talent at Kentucky than West Virginia, those shooting numbers could improve. Whenever you can get a guy that's six foot nine to shoot 36% from the three-point line, that is tough to pass up on. Kentucky just got a big addition in Trey Mitchell this late in the college basketball offseason. I was skeptical that Kentucky was going to be able to add a player of this caliber to the roster. But when the West Virginia news happened, I thought, hmm, that's when John Calipari is going to swoop right in, take a player, and be able to add to this roster and boost the Kentucky Wildcats for next year. And what did he do? He got Trey Mitchell from West Virginia through the transfer portal. Tough loss for the Mountaineers. They're potentially in free fall mode, but the Kentucky Wildcats, things are looking up, and it looks like Big Blue Nation could have a really solid 2023-2024 college basketball season with all the additions that they have coming to their roster for next season through the freshman class. That's really talented, but now with Antonio Reese coming back, and now you've got Trey Mitchell coming to the transfer portal, and if Kentucky can get another player through the portal, maybe even Javon Quinterly, who knows, add him to the roster, then Kentucky could be the favorite to win the SEC in college basketball next season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Trey Mitchell transferring from West Virginia to Kentucky, and whether you think that John Calipari can mesh all of this young freshman talent and experienced players now in Antonio Reeves and Trey Mitchell together to be able to have a really great team in college basketball next season. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I will see you next time.